part of our ongoing program to promote board games from Aotearoa, New Zealand. Kia ora koutou, and welcome to Regicide in about three minutes, review copy used. It has a solo mode, it's a game for one to four players, playing time is short, and it's a pretty simple game. Kings and queens, who needs them? Certainly not you, as you and your allies marshal your forces to rid the land of the tyranny of monarchy. Get your warriors, paladins, wizards and clerics together, grab the guillotine, and let's start a revolution. The game ends once we've defeated all 12 of the face cards. First the jacks, then the queens, then the kings. If you do this, all players win. You immediately lose if a player runs out of cards. AI. The bad guys will just attack you each turn. Card management. Your cards are your attacks and your life. Knowing what to play and what to lose is the key to winning. Secret information. All players play with their hands hidden and communication is limited. Player turn. Take the deck of cards and separate out the face cards. Shuffle the kings and make a stack, then the queens and put them on top. Then repeat with the jacks. Draw the top card. This is the first enemy to fight. Then shuffle the rest of the cards and deal them out. For four players, deal five cards and add two jokers to the deck. For three players, it is six cards and one joker, seven cards each for two players, and eight cards for solo. This is also your hand limit. Normally cards are hidden, but we will show them here. The turn order is play a card, resolve its special effect from its suit, deal damage to the enemy, and then take damage. The jack has 20 health and does 10 damage. The left player plays a seven of diamonds, doing seven damage. Its suit power will not activate because the jack is also a diamond. The jack attacks back doing 10 damage and the left player discards at least 10 value of cards. A bad start. The right player plays a seven of clubs. Club's special ability is to do double damage. Combined with the previous card, this is 21 damage and sends the jack to the discard. It does not get an attack this round. The next jack is up and the left player plays a 10 of spades for 10 damage. Spades also reduce an opponent's attack score by their value, meaning this jack is doing no damage. The right player then plays a six of diamonds, doing damage and drawing six cards. The left player plays a four. This does the exact health of the jack, so sends it to the draw pile instead of the discard. The next jack is clubs, so is immune to double damage from clubs. A joker card cancels a card's special defenses, and while it still attacks and does damage, that means the right player on their turn can do 20 damage and send the jack to the draw pile. The left player is feeling low on cards, so chooses not to play one. They still get attacked, however. Some last notes. Aces count as one value and can be played with another card. This combines to eight value here and counts as both suits, doing 16 damage and allowing eight cards to go back into the draw pile. Finally, sets of up to 10 value can be played together, also combining effects. Four twos or two fives are examples of this. Keep playing until all the face cards are defeated. Why would you like this game? In an era of increasing game production values, stretch goals, miniatures, and box inserts, it is so incredibly refreshing to see a game that uses a standard deck of cards. The gameplay is tense and the decision points good and the overall feeling of escalation throughout the game is fantastic. First come the jacks and you think you've got it sorted, then the queens give you a challenge and then the kings represent legitimate make or break challenges. All up, this is a game that can be played anywhere by nearly anyone and is suitable to an extremely wide audience. The best thing about this game is the five of clubs, just look at them. But seriously, the best thing about this game is the simplicity and elegance of its design. Well done. However, the game is hard and will likely get frustrating for some as those kings hit like trucks. Be prepared to play it a lot to get good. And while you could go download the rules and play with a deck of cards, I reckon this game deserves to be purchased. For a more complex co-op card game, try Aeon's End. And for another light and fun cooperative card game, try The Crew 2. Regicide, gold medal game. No goats will have them in the making of this video. Regicide and 3-Minute Board Games are certified goat-free products. If you find goats in your game, please consult a medical professional. A reminder, 3-Minute Board Games does not do paid content. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. And if you enjoyed this video, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.